<clears throat> so the handsome devil in the middle of this photograph is John Wayne Nelson. <clears throat> he was a frontiersman on the American West, and here he is with his wife and family. So John Wayne Nelson, you may not have heard of him before, but I promise he has affected you because he was a frontier storyteller. He moved out west when he was only a teenager and he just decided to be part of an Indian tribe. And what I mean is he sat in a teepee and wouldn't move unless they let him stay. So that's how his frontier life started. And he actually did a lot of really neat things out there. He interpreted and scouted for the US Army. He helped settlers and ranchers. He led the Mormons to Utah. And even later in life, he was in Buffalo Bill's Wild West exhibition. So he's really interesting, yes. But again, why is he important? Well, let me tell you. I ran into Nelson when I found his autobiography called 50 Years on the Trail, and I realized that there was some value here. And so I studied it, I made footnotes for it, I wrote a critical introduction for it, and I collected appendix materials. And after all of this research, I came to realize something. This book was basically a bunch of baloney, and he probably made most of it up. So I found this out while looking into his claim to of leading the, of leading the Mormons to Utah. And he said that Brigham Young approached him personally saying that they would never make it to their destination unless he was there to guide them across the desert. I know, it's juicy. And then I found a millennial star blurb, which was, it was an LDS contemporary newspaper. And the blurb was talking about Nelson's book. And let me tell you that the Mormons did not like it, not one bit. And they said that his story was utterly without foundation in fact, and that the Mormons were not pioneered to the Salt Lake Valley by anyone but the God of Heaven. So, after realizing this, I looked at Nelson's book, and I realized that it may be a bunch of baloney, but it was baloney worth celebrating. Because Nelson was taking part in an important and frontier tradition, which was storytelling, and all the best frontiersmen were storytellers. He was simply taking part in a larger story, and that larger story is a frontier myth. And that frontier myth is what we now base our cultural identity on. So wait, we base our identity on lies. No, that's not what I'm saying. Well, sort of. What I mean is it's basically making poetical mountains out of historical molehills. And what Nelson really did is he helped paint this vision of the American West that we as Americans just love. And all these storytellers, these frontier storytellers, they all helped create and mold our country's identity, and I think for the better. So I'd like to thank Nelson for telling his stories, whether they were true or not. Thank you.